I'm sure you know by now that um, I stand accused of um, harassing someone at work. Um, my accuser alleges that I touched myself inappropriately while I was looking at her. I want to tell you that um, that is not the truth. She totally misread the situation and uh, made the wrong assumption. And um, I have since reached out to her, you know, to apologize for inadvertently making her feel that way. I was silent on social media because I had hoped for a formal process to take place at work. And, um, I mean, I view these allegations very, very seriously. You know, we're in a very critical time in our country when women are being abused and um, they are treated badly. Women are oppressed, you know, in all fields of our lives. So I do realize how sensitive this whole thing is, especially as a father who's raising girl children. I think it's important that I explain what, what, that I explain what happened, because um, just so that you understand uh, my side of the story. So on Monday the 20th, we were shooting a scene, and um, I had a problem with my costume. My pants were too tight, and I was struggling. Every time I, I had to get up, it felt like they were going to get torn. So while I was sitting there, um, I was sitting and inspecting. This is inside the, the, the room. I mean, there was cast and crew present. Um, I was busy inspecting my pants uh, to see if um, they were not getting torn. And when I looked up, I saw uh, her standing in a, at some distance looking at me. So she assumed that I was playing with myself, which was not the case, you know. So it's really unfortunate. I also hear that she mentioned that she had complained about me before. And this was on an occasion where we were shooting, I think it was our first intimate scene together on the show, and um, we were required to fall onto the bed um, um, during this passionate scene. And, um, you know, she later complained that uh, when the director said cut, I stayed in character and I didn't remove my hand uh, from my hip. And that didn't make her feel good. Initially, I thought it was um, out of malice, but I, after we sat down with my agent and producers, I saw her side of the story and um, I apologized, you know, and I thought, you know, let me just work on myself to be fine with her so that, you know, not to um, jeopardize the, 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 the production. So, you know, it's, it's very confusing for me, you know, because this is someone who, you know, often likes to ask me to give them a back and shoulder massage. Uh, I'm a trained masseuse, so I do massage work. And she likes asking me, and I'm only saying this because um, even on the day of the, of the accusation, you know, she later asked me to give her a massage. Um, now, just think about it. How would it have looked, you know, how would it look if I had been the one who was asking her for massages, if I was the one who was, you know, constantly asking her to give me a massage? Uh, I'm just saying, you know. Um, and then my expectation was that, you know, the production will, you know, follow proper procedure and address the matter properly. But before that could be done, she had gone on social media and posted about her um, unhappiness. Then another colleague um, joined the fray and said um, he did the same thing to me too. And I was like, okay, uh, I mean, I, I, was, I was really unsure until it emerged that um, apparently I promised her furniture in exchange for uh, favors. And, um, you know, the truth is that she was struggling because she, she, she used to stay very far from work and she, she, she kept on saying, oh, you know, um, the, the striving, the striving, the striving. And then out of the goodness, goodness of my heart, I offered her from work and she, she, she kept on saying, oh, you know, um, the, the striving, the striving, the striving. And then out of the goodness, goodness of my heart, I offered her a, a finished cottage at my house, you know, but she has, she has then gone and turned the whole story around, you know, to make it look like I was making advances um, on her. And then there was the fake media um, post, someone posing as me, um, you know, saying things that I never said. That confused me even further because it just made me think, okay, what is going on here? You know, why would anyone go out of their way to post something like that that makes me look like I'm admitting uh, guilt? Look, my, my, my contract has been uh, terminated. Um, a lot of you know that. 
And I just feel that that has compromised me even further because it has created the impression in the public eye that proper processes were followed and I was found guilty. But, you know, that, that is not the case. I want to reassure you that I view um, the abuse of women uh, in a very serious light and I'm, I'm willing to subject myself to any scrutiny or any process to get to the bottom of it. And this matter has now been handed over to my legal team who are giving me advice on how to proceed from here. Um, I want to thank everyone that has reached out to me um, in support, men and women who have you know, come forward and said, look, um, we don't know you like that. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm not trying to defend myself. You know, I'm not perfect. Um, I know that. But um, that's just my side of the story. I've never intended to abuse anyone. For more information, in, you know, if I'm not available, please um, don't hesitate to contact Mr. Manda Masego, who's my spokesperson from now, um, on 074-754-4477. Thank you so, so much. And I want to apologize to all the women out there whose wounds have been reopened because of uh, hearing about uh, these allegations. I really apologize from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for listening.